Hello, thank you for joining me on this lovely summer's day. I'm in St. Peter's Port, the capital of Guernsey. There's the harbour and the town centres just there. Today is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. We're going to find the only miniature railway I know of on Guernsey. There is one on Aldney, but that's for another trip. The reason I thought to start the video down here is because for railways and Guernsey, well, there was the German occupation railways, but the only other civilian railways was the tramway, which ran about three miles along the coast at St. Peter's Port, so it would have run somewhere along here. Further back, the tram shed survives and some of the tracks there. I took a picture, have a look at this. So you can see the picture of the tram tracks. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna keep walking. We're gonna get a bus to go and find this miniature railway. I've just got on the bus now. We're going up to Sumare Manor. That's where the miniature railway is. Seven and a quarter inch gauge miniature railway. It's gonna be in a nice stately home. So we've got a bus ride up the hill. Although it's that way, so the bus is also gonna to have to go around the houses. So that it's very easy to get to. So the bus is gonna take us there. When we get there, we'll look around the gardens and have a ride on the miniature railway. I just got off the bus, there's nothing to say bus stop, but they paint the word bus on the road quite often for the more rural bus stop. So I'm probably a couple of miles out of St Peter's Port. You could walk if you wanted to, but it's all uphill, so I thought I'd get the bus. So here we have the entrance to Sunray Manor. Let's go in and have a look and see what the manor, see what there is to see. So it's a stately home, it's supposed to have very nice gardens, which I'm really looking forward to because I do enjoy looking around gardens as much as I enjoy miniature railway so here we are this is the garden so the car parts over there so I've got to go and find where we get tickets but if you have a look here there we have the manor in front of us so this looks really exciting I'm looking forward to exploring the grounds and of course riding the train here so I went to inquire about where you pay to get into the estate because I thought okay that's the entrance went off down there and um, I was told it's free to visit. So the actual estate itself is free and what you do, you pay for the things you want to see. So there's a few different attractions in this estate. So rather than pay one big price, you pay you know, a few small prices, which is quite nice. So if you don't want to do something, you haven't got to pay for it and not do it, you just simply don't do it. So here's the manor house. You can do house tours. Um, I don't think I'll do that today, but what we'll do, we'll have a little look around the grounds. There's lots of, um, I've discovered modern art around the the estate here's some here i don't know too much about modern art the last time we went to an estate i can think of where there was a lot of modern art was well look at that giant stone camera that's quite cool um was houghton hall up in norfolk we saw a lot of modern art there so if you're interested in that have a look at the link on screen now what we're going to do though is we're going to walk around the back of the manor we're going to go and find the miniature railway i might do some of the gardens um when i've had a go on the train we'll, we'll have a look oh, that's, that's what i always like to see look at that that sign it says trains running today so this is what we've come here for so we're now around the back of the manor so that's the entrance there to the tropical garden that sounds like fun but we could do that afterwards and there's a tea room there um maybe i'll go in there and, and have lunch afterwards but what we'll do first is we'll go down to have a look at the, the railway because that's the main thing we'll come for so it says trains this way which is exciting it's a bit you sort of never quite know what you're going to find when you go down oh this is nice there's a, there's a lake here. and some ducks let's have a quick look hello ducks that's really nice look at that that's really yeah for a nice, nicely by water on a hot day like today. Let's now go and find the train. I'm sure riding the miniature train will be quite nice and cooling. You know, the sign it says train, so we must be heading in the right direction. Um, so, quite excited about this one. Well, I'm always excited about going to a miniature railway, but this one's a bit mysterious. I haven't seen that many pictures. There's not that many videos I've found already of it, so. I don't quite know what to expect. I know it's seven and a quarter inch, and I know it's got a diesel loco. Another sign centre. Ah, this is, yeah, there we are, look, there's a little train sat there. So let's go and have a look, see what we have. So um, it says Manor Station. The track runs along there. There's a, looks like it runs around the children's play area. Let's have a look at the loco that I expect we're due to be riding behind. There it is, look, little diesel, and it's got the 
Guernsey flag on it. So well, that's the station. So this is the diesel loco we're going to ride behind. Semaphore signal there. Let's have a look here. So it looks as though the railway goes off there into the woods. And then I think, um, does it come, must come back over here. Yeah, so then you can see the, the track. So it obviously does a loop around there. So let's go and ride the miniature railway. Yes, thank you. my trip on that miniature railway. I've certainly never been on a miniature railway where there's snakes hanging down. That's a bit different. And this first bit here, section of track that runs off through the bamboo, it was like, it's like a miniature railway through the jungle. It was really quite exciting, really, really enjoyed it. So there's the loco there. 
had a bit of a chat with the driver. He said that the loco is about 40 years old. They did originally have a steam loco. I'll tell you what the loco, and indeed to a certain extent the railway, remind me a little bit of, is um, the Vanstone Park Miniature Railway in Hertfordshire. It's just got a similar feel, and the loco looks like a meteor loco, which are 10 and a quarter inch gauge, and this is 7 and a quarter inch, so it's, I don't think it is a meteor, it just reminds me of one. If you want to see that video, have a look at link on the screen now and see what I mean. But the two railways, they just remind me a bit. They just have a bit of similarities. There's a, someone's got a big insect hotel. Nice to like building them. We've made out of pallets and you put lots of twigs and that and all the insects go and live there. The joke always used to be that there'd be a ladybird would be the receptionist. We're now going to have a look up here. Like I said, there's a tea room and there's the garden. The, the tropical garden so I might have a look at them. Let's just go and uh, have another look at the lake. Now I'm going to wander around the estate and see what I'm going to do next. Well, that was certainly a very different shot of a miniature train. Never before if I put my camera through some bamboo like that to film a miniature train. So here we are back at the front of the manor. I've had a great afternoon here at Sunray Manor today. I really enjoyed it. I didn't do the house tours because house tours, I think, they're on a Saturday, maybe one other day, and today's a Sunday. It says, though, if you go on them, you pay to go on them, but you do get a glass of wine. I did pay to do the sculpture trail and tropical gardens that's really worth doing i've put that on a separate video so have a look at link on screen now you'll be able to see the other gardens it did of course feature the railway a little bit because we went past the railway but from the front garden at summary manor thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment do come visit this manor yourself it's easy to get to i kind of up on the bus i might walk back because i've got about three hours before my boat back to the mainland goes so it's a pleasant afternoon, I'm going to walk back. So thank you very much for watching, goodbye.